Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Cue, the place where our mission is to motivate you and help you to move on to the brighter side of the hill. In today's video, I'm going to talk about blink reflex test, a test which is very important to diagnose as well as identify how good would be the recovery in Bell's palsy. When all this test is used, how this test is performed and how this test helps to come up with these or diagnosis. We are going to understand all of them in today's video. So if you are interested to know more about it, make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. If you who are someone who has experienced Bell's palsy or else facial paralysis of any sort, your doctor must have recommended you to go through blink reflex test. It's not a mandatory test, but most of the times doctors prefer to ask patient to go through this test. Blink reflex test is basically done to identify the functioning of two nerves. One is the facial nerve and second is the trigeminal nerve. This is an electrodiagnostic form of test which means electric current is used in order to come up with a particular diagnosis. This test helps in understanding the integrity of the trigeminal nerve and facial nerve. In order to do this test, what basically is done is patient or as a person who is going through this test is required to lie down. There are a few electrodes which are placed on the face. First electrode is an active electrode which is placed over the inferior aspect of orbicularis oculi muscle or is your eye muscle. The second electrode is the reference electrode which is placed, is placed on the bony prominence of the zygomatical arch. And the third electrode, which is the ground electrode, is placed at the chin level or else over the forehead. Now, after this, and stimulation is given over the orbicularis oculi muscle above the eyebrow region on the affected side. Now, whenever this stimulation or this electric current is passed, ideally both the eyes should blink at the same time. This is a corneal reflex or else a blink reflex which very similarly mimics to any stimulus which makes our eyes to close immediately and open immediately. Same thing is being tested here. Using this prong stimulator, the nerve which is stimulated is the supraorbicular nerve and with this stimulation, the eyes should contract. But if there is a pathology present, then the normal eyelid will definitely contract and relax. But the non-affected eyelid will not contract completely, so the blink will not happen completely. Which will suggest there is a presence of pathology. Many times the tester needs to perform this test repeatedly, but this could lead to habituation. And thus, in order to prevent that, repetitions are okay, but with breaks. So your tester might ask you to take some break before going through the second process of the same test. So as I said, normally both the eyes should blink with, with the stimulation, but if there is presence of pathology, then both eyes will not blink, only one eye will blink and that will be indicating of some sort of problem. So what are these problems that could lead to abnormal blink reflex? Now, blink reflex not only is abnormal in facial paralysis scenario, but in few other scenarios as well. And that's why I require differential diagnosis with the help of history and clinical examination. So some of the pathologies that could show abnormal blink reflexes are number one, Bell's pulse itself. Number two, acoustic neuroma. Number three, brainstem lesions like tumor or space occupying tumor or else stroke, multiple sclerosis and polyneuropathy. Absolutely, this test is safe to perform but if a person is having any sort of open wounds or some sort of ulceration or any skin related condition, at that time this test can be refrained from being performed. When a person shows abnormal blink reflex, then it is Rightly, that there is some diagnosis which I mentioned and based on that then the later on treatment process starts. Based on this findings, doctor will prescribe you medication and any sort of treatment depending on his or her clinical diagnosis. And that's how blink reflex plays a very crucial role in diagnosing any sort of abnormalities in facial nerve as well as trigeminal nerve. I hope this video gave you a bit understanding about what is blink reflex test and how and why it is required to be done. Through this video, my intention was to give you that awareness, that education and not to encourage any sort of treatment or enc encourage any sort of test further. True. So on that note, I'll end this video here and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.